Hi, my name is Malcolm Collins. I'm going to be giving you a quick demonstration of some of the key features that make GameMaker such a unique and simple way for anyone to develop multi-platform games. So as you can see, we've already created a basic character in a room here, but there's a few things we need to add in order to give it some life. The first thing to look at here is our character sprite. By opening this up, we can adjust various attributes relating to our Skydiver character. But if I click on Edit, uh, we can also put together the character's movement animation frames and then preview them in real time um, up here on the left. Now, uh, Room is where everything is pulled together within GameMaker to actually create your game world. So you can see here that we've already added our character sprite to the room and simply set the background colour um, to blue to represent the sky, which was what you saw right at the, the start of the demo. So like our character, we've also created a cloud sprite, although instead of animating the clouds, we're going to create some movement through adding specific events and actions to an object, in this case, our cloud object. So an object within GameMaker is made up of events, and for each event there will be a number of actions associated with the event. So we're going to add a step event here, which will allow us to show you how we use drag and drop. So here I'm going to drag over an action to set the, the vertical speed of the clouds. I'm going to set that up now, OK. Then we'll add another action uh, with an if condition um, so that the cloud, when the clouds go off the top of the screen then we're going to kill the object. And then finally we're going to add an instance destroy action. So now at each step it's going to move our cloud up the screen and once it gets beyond a specific value, in this case negative 300, it's going to be removed. To generate more than one cloud within the game uh, we've created what we'll call our cloud maker. This is basically a single object which is going to create multiple clouds with a, a step event which we've already set up here so that uh, each step with a random chance of one is going to create a cloud. Now the next step is to place a CloudMaker object into our room. And to do this we want to select the CloudMaker object from our drop down here and we can place them simply by clicking anywhere on this view pane so we can create as many as we want here. Um, just by clicking around, but in actual fact we only need one, so I'll just go ahead and remove those. Now if we save that out and run it, uh, you'll see that the CloudMaker itself isn't actually visible in the game, but it's now randomly generating clouds for us. So now that's looking good with the clouds, uh, we're going to go and add some movement to the character object. Uh, to do this we're going to create a script to control the movement of the character. Now, uh, a script is a program. Um, GameMaker has two ways of adding behaviours. Uh, one is with the drag and drop like we used on the cloud, uh, where you don't have to have any kind of scripting knowledge. Or you can just put in code directly, like what we're going to do here. So now if I open up the object, you can see the call is already in place here. Um, it's just a script we were running before it was empty. So now when we run the game, uh, this should add movement to our skydiver. Okay, we can see he's animating here, and if we move our mouse around the screen, we can see he's moving across the screen. And that's it. Very simple to understand, and very easy to put together. So now that we've created the game and had a look at what it's like, we're going to export it. So GameMaker supports exporting to PC, Mac, iPhone, iPad, uh, Android, and now HTML5. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and just double check that they're all selected. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that out first and then export it. So from just one executable we now have our game running on the PC, the iPhone on the left here, the iPad, and Android driven Nexus S, and the latest uh, Mac operating system, and most recently we now have it running in HTML5, running here on the top right screen in Internet Explorer 9.